So you're thinking about moving to the Ann Arbor Saline area. Well, today we want to give you a quick tour of this house for 550 behind me. It's an absolutely gorgeous home for that price point. My name is Matt Talbot. My team and I get calls, texts, and emails from people just like you every single day that want to move here to Southeast Michigan, and we absolutely live for it. Whether you're looking to move in three days or three years, please feel free to comment below, send us an email, or give us a call. Also on YouTube, there's a calendar link where you can set up a consultation with us at any time to meet face-to-face. -face. Also, if you want to keep up in the current market here in Southeast Michigan in the Ann Arbor area, hit subscribe and tap for notifications for the most recent updates on today's market. Let's go check out the inside of this one. All right, so quick story, I'm a big coffee guy. Um, up here in the Northern states, if you're moving from out of town, Tim Hortons are all over the place. It's not always my go-to coffee, but I definitely drink a lot of it to say the least. And I always get one on my way to my listing videos and stuff. And shh, don't tell anyone, but I'm pretty sure I've lost like two or three in people's houses by accident. Okay guys, so today we wanna to give you this tour of this beautiful home in Celine. This one was built in 2011 with some really nice updates throughout. It is a contemporary colonial home, meaning all the bedrooms are upstairs. Um, the basement's finished, so I'll go ahead and show you that as well too. Uh, just to start, we're in a two-story foyer, which is a great starting point. Um, you have your front living space, which obviously is open. You could also do a formal dining as well in here. Currently, they have it set up for the little one, so of course, you got to get in where you fit in sometimes. Um, over here is your office study. Good size. I really like um, the size of this. You have the double doors, which is awesome. Um, windows are in good shape on this house. This house is very, very well maintained. So I love seeing that and buyers will think the same. Coat closet will jump upstairs in a minute. Pretty good size living area here for your great room. Um, there is a nine foot ceiling. So some homes, some of these colonials will have, you know, your two story uh, great room or two story living area. In this one, you still have a nine foot ceiling, which is awesome. Gives a lot of, a lot of space in here. And again, where Nick's standing, where the camera is, is still a two story foyer. So it feels very spacious in here. I like the kitchen, have a big size, uh, pretty big table here. Um, I like the kitchen. You have uh, gas appliances, which is nice. Granite, under cabinet lighting. The cabinets are in good shape. I like the color of this cabinetry. Obviously that's a flavor based thing for people. I do like the color. I think it's timeless. Um, some other cabinetry isn't always as timeless. Um, updated appliances. Uh, here in Michigan, you're gonna see this a lot. I don't know if you see this across the country or not, but you have your laundry room right outside of the garage. There's a two car garage as well as your half bath. So this combination, um, you'll see quite a bit here in Michigan. Again, I don't know if you see that all over the country or not, but um, you walk in, you have your mud room and, and washer and dryer right off the garage, which is awesome. And also the uh, the half bath as well. Moving on again, this is the garage here. You have a little walkway to your formal dining or as they have it as an additional living space. So we're gonna head upstairs. I was talking to um, our photographer earlier because this is our listing that we're working on. And I mentioned this is such a small thing, but I really like carpet cushions. Like, do you feel that? I like, I don't know why. I think it's a preference based thing. Some people don't like it. I think sometimes it can get messed up. It's in good shape here. And I really enjoy very cushy carpet. I don't know why, it's just how I am. I, I really do enjoy it. But anyway, good size bedroom here. They have it set up as a nursery. Um, obviously freshly painted, newer fixtures and stuff like that. Uh, closet here. Second bedroom, not quite as big, but this is a king size bed. So still lots of uh, square footage and, and plenty of, uh, of storage in the closet as well too. Jumping over to your shared bathroom, granite countertops. Um, the height of the countertop is of a standard height. It's not, I'm sorry, it's a little bit of a step up. Sometimes you have a lower uh, height countertop, which can make a difference. Uh, this one has a shower insert, so no tile in there, shower insert. Um, that's, you know, again, pros and cons of different houses, of course. Moving on, this is a true four bedroom, meaning that there's no bedrooms in the basement. There's four bedrooms upstairs on the second floor. This is your last bedroom uh, before the primary. Two full baths on the second floor. Some homes will have three full baths. This one has two full baths, but they completely make up for it with the primary suite and the finished basement, which we'll get into now. Walking into the primary, good size bedroom. There's a big walk-in closet. I'm um, not gonna show you guys the closet. They're doing a little storage. We 
had to prep for the listing, so some of the extra kids stuff got pushed into the closet, but I wanna show you this for sure. This is newly renovated, um, the primary suite bathroom, okay? So you have a quartz countertop, the standalone tub, you know, updated uh, cabinetry as well too. I love the tile work in here. Obviously the black uh, and white is very in. Euro glass doors tile all the way up. They completely renovated this thing. This was their big project since they moved in a little while ago. So a really nice benefit, um, a really nice benefit to this particular property. Again, built in 2011, you're not gonna always see these updates. So 2011, we're in 2023, right? A lot of times people aren't doing these major updates in you know, 10, 15 years. However, this one has a lot of them. They have the primary suite bathroom done. And we're gonna show you the basement next. So I actually sold this home a few years ago um, to the current seller. And I think my favorite part of the basement is gonna be the picture of blue, if I'm being, no, I'm kidding. Uh, it's a cool picture though. So last time when the uh, when we when we worked this transaction, um, I love the house, I love the upstairs, it's in great condition, it's a great layout. Um, but this basement really kind of was the icing on the cake for me. I think they did some really nice finishes on this one. So if you walk downstairs, you know, a couple things, obviously you have granite countertops and a big open bar, uh, which is your wet bar. There's also two winery refrigerators in there as well too and tons of cabinet storage throughout here so you know they really kind of went with some high-end finishes obviously you see the stone backsplash as well too the trim work goes all the way up um, to the ceiling and stuff so th that's a more high-end finish that you're going to see in a finished basement also additionally um, are the is the fact that they drywalled the entire ceiling so in Michigan you're going to see a lot of drop ceilings in my opinion the drywall feel is a much more formal feel it feels like a more formal living space um, egress window to, to code the more additional built-ins over here as well um, with the, the stone countertops as well and the built-in. So it's a really comfortable basement. They have the carpet going on down here. I like carpets in basement. I'm a fan of that compared to wood or a laminate because it makes it feel more warm and cozy in my opinion. They have the carpets down here, additional built-ins, and then also big storage closet. And lastly, another full bath, okay? So we mentioned on the second floor, there's only two full bathrooms instead of three, which some homes you might have, but they made up for it down here with a full bath for guests and stuff like that should you want it. Um, so this basement really has a lot of nice features in my opinion. It's kind of the icing on the cake, the cherry on top, whatever you want to say for this listing at a 550 price point. We're not on the market on this one yet, so I almost foresee this one probably going over 550. I wouldn't be surprised if we end up close to 600, the way that we market our listings and stuff, but 550 price point in Celine, this is an absolute stunner in my opinion. This is a really good bang for your buck, mid 500s without a doubt. So we want to show you downtown Celine. We're going to have some neighborhood shots as well too so you kind of see what the rest of the neighborhood looks like but we'll get into downtown Celine, show you around town a little bit so you understand what this small town metro Ann Arbor town is like again you're about 45 minutes 50 minutes from Detroit you're 15 minutes downtown Ann Arbor you're probably about uh, 30 minutes or 40 minutes from the airport um, so it's a good location Celine schools are always top ranked and stuff like that as well too so there's a reason why this is a sought out community there is some new construction going on as well out here there's a little bit of land left over because we're still on the outskirts of town a little bit so great city we want to show you downtown and some of the features there as well So the listing we just shot is only like a half a mile from here and we're driving back into town. I made Nick pull over because I had to stop at Weller's. This place is really cool. It's a venue for different events, mostly weddings and stuff like that. There's a carriage house. There's a Henry Ford room right behind me. There's a Raisin River room. So it's it's set up for events. We're right off Michigan Ave, so it's a little bit loud up here. But once you get back on the property, it's really, really cool. They're not open. I wanted to just do a quick run through to kind of show you guys. This is sort of a staple of Celine, in my opinion. A great spot to get married if you're from the area, a cool spot for events and stuff like that. But it sort of, uh, sort of showcases, in my opinion, what what Celine's all about. You get a little bit of nature, you get a little bit of old school 1800s builds combined with you know newer construction and stuff like that. It's really what Celine's all about. So this place is really cool. I've been to a few uh, venues here, mostly weddings. Actually, my buddy got married here like a couple years ago and it was really, really cool. Great vibes down here. Um, you can see the little river that, ro that rolls through here and there's a bunch of different places. So the carriage house is really, really cool. The property itself is, is, is awesome. There's tons of parking back here for you know your weddings and stuff. I just think it's a really cool piece of of Celine, and again, Celine actually dates back to the 18th century when um, there was people here that long ago. The railroads came in sometime, I think 1870 is when the, the city was roughly established 
quick history uh, lesson of Selene. So it's an old city. It's been out here in the country for a very, very long time. You're just outside of Ann Arbor, but it has a lot of cool character as well. Okay, so we're in downtown Selene, which is like I said, less than a mile from the property we're just at, at the 550 price range. Selene is really, really cool. As I just mentioned, it was dates back to the 1800s and before. Um, this is actually an old church that they recently renovated in its Salt Spring Brewery. So they renovated this old church. It's a really, really old building. It's really cool inside. It's one of my favorite places here in downtown Saline. We're gonna walk up the street and show you a couple spots here in town and show you what downtown Saline has to offer. It's a cute little town. Um, there's a couple major streets. Michigan Ave actually runs, for those of you who don't know, from Detroit all the way through Chicago. So you can actually take Michigan Ave all the way from Detroit to Chicago still to this day before they built an uh, I-94, which now you can take back and forth is usually the way to get from Michigan to Chicago. Um, but Michigan Ave goes right through Ann Arbor, right through Saline and all the way down to Chicago. So that's a major road up there, but there's these little cool towns throughout the, the general area. And Saline's one of my favorite old towns here because it has all these different shops like Eleanor's Sweets and Sodas, right? You get ice cream and, and sodas and stuff like that. You know, the, the brewery itself here has a great Great patio in the backyard, great lighting, great vibes. So we're on South Ann Arbor Street. The Cobblestone Rose is a cool little shop. You got a barber shop here. There's a, this is a coffee shop and cafe, really cool spot as well too. So you have this downtown feel. If you like that small town vibe, again, only one mile from the subject property we we're just talking about, but really want to showcase what it's like to live in Saline or the general Ann Arbor area. So a lot of people don't want to be right downtown in Ann Arbor and deal with the busyness and a little bit of the congestion, stuff like that. Not that Ann Arbor is too bad when it comes to some of that stuff. And they're looking for more of this, you know, city, small town vibe, right? You have all your shopping, all your boutique shops, your different restaurants in town, ice cream shops, your bars, all that stuff. I think they're doing a, a fish fry coming up uh, in, uh, next Friday or something. I saw, uh, I saw a, a sign for that. You know, there's a lot of different things happening in downtown here. So you get the best of both worlds. You get the subdivision up the street. There's lots of parks around and uh, different things like that to check out as far as nature. And you get this cool little town, you know, your big churches, you know, old churches up the street. It's just a, it's a cool vibe here. I figured it's worth showcasing if you're thinking about moving to the general Ann Arbor area or Southeast Michigan. It's a great sample set of what a great downtown is here in Saline, Michigan. Here at the corner of Ann Arbor Street and Michigan Ave, that does it for Saline, Michigan, a 550 price point. If you're interested in following the market here in Southeast Michigan in the general Ann Arbor, Saline area, hit subscribe and tap for notifications for more videos just like this.